I did notice in doing a little bit of uh, research, uh, a uh, <laughs> the beer partnership, the Bean to Bean Espresso Stout, yeah. which as a beer drinker, uh, you know, definitely struck a chord with me. Uh, oh. what, what was the what was the backstory on that? <laughs> that was a fun fun story. Um, <laughs> it, it, uh, the backstory on that is a lot, a lot of beers. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was out one evening in uh, Northern Liberties at North Bowl, mm -hmm. uh, out for a birthday party with some friends, mm -hmm. and I was at the bar and started talking with uh, this guy named Sasha, and he said his family owned a uh, beer distributor, beer brewery, mm -hmm. and I said, oh, my family and I, we own a coffee roaster, and he's like, oh, well, we're actually looking to maybe do a coffee stout in the next couple months. So mm -hmm. we exchanged information, um, didn't hear back from him because this was like in August until mm -hmm. about October, kind of mm -hmm. forgot about it. Um, that could have been in part to some of the beers. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, when I got that email, um, you know, that's kind of how the, that relationship evolved. Um, so Sasha's family was Dock Street Breweries. Um, okay. His family owns that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just started talking about um, which beans uh, they should use for the project mm -hmm. uh, our recommendation uh, which was our 76 espresso mm -hmm. and their brewer uh, put it through the process and mm -hmm. we've been doing it for four years now that's amazing and mm -hmm. uh have there been other beer collaborations that we did one small very limited batch with a uh, double nickel brewery okay um so the education part of uh this is that coffee is actually a fruit and it grows on a tree inside of a cherry mm -hmm. two beans inside of a cherry mm -hmm. um that's what gets roasted to make coffee mm -hmm. so what we did was we took the skin of the cherry which is called cascara mm -hmm. um and we gave that to double nickel and they made a brown ale um mm -hmm. in a firkin out of it a very limited run i think maybe only five restaurants carried it right in uh, south jersey Mm -hmm. uh, that was the other beer uh, partnership we had. That's excellent. And is the uh, espresso stout, is that seasonal? Did I read that correctly? Yeah, yeah. just okay. in the fall, usually. Uh, October, October to February. Uh, because of COVID, I believe it's done. Maybe you can still go to the brewery and they have, you know, some 24 packs lying around. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I think, was our best run of it mm -hmm. from a distribution standpoint. Like every corner store every Chinese joint, like everywhere in Philly had our, our beer without us even knowing about it. It was like cool to just walk all over the city and see the beer everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now it's definitely, you know, it's been tough for them mm -hmm. in terms of like where to distribute, how to distribute. Uh, so I think a lot with them, that was going to be a lot shorter runs, a lot fresher beers, like every month to two months mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of like, you know, four to five month seasons. They were right. distributing through Origlio. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's, yeah, last year how it was getting everywhere. Yeah, that's I a big mean, name. Had we known you were a big beer drinker, I would have uh, brought you some of that beer. Oh, uh, my gosh. Oh, you dropped it off. Well, thank you. Uh, his brother did, actually. Oh, okay, that's okay. All of our deliveries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, that, uh, yeah, I mean, it, if it ever occurs to you, I will not, uh, I will not turn that down. <laughs> Where uh, You mentioned bourbon also. Is that... It, yeah. That's a, a project that's been about six months in the works. Mm -hmm. uh, we've taken a single origin coffee from Brazil mm -hmm. and put it in some Buffalo Trace uh, mm -hmm. Kentucky bourbon barrels. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. So yeah. it's been aging in there um, yeah, for the last six months. Just mm -hmm. the coffee in its raw state, which is the green state. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was roasted uh, after. Mm -hmm. uh, we pulled it, and two weeks ago, we did our first uh, cupping of it, and we're really happy with the results that, mm -hmm. uh, that it has come out with, and the packaging is going to be super beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very mm -hmm. excited about it mm -hmm. to share that with everybody. Um, mm -hmm. the internal feedback with the limited amount of people we've shared it with, um, they want to buy it just based on the look of the packaging. <laughs> they don't even care about what it tastes like at this point. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're really happy with the combination of both the, the look and the taste. 
Yeah, it's cool. If it's in, as as good as espresso stout, you guys will be uh, doing pretty well for yourselves. I looked at some of the reviews online, and Thank one guy you. was like, "It's one of the best beers I've ever had from Dock Street." So, oh, cool! Congratulations. What, what do you drink? What do you like to drink in terms of beer? I'm well, definitely, obviously stout. Uh, I uh, I go I gravitate away from sort of hoppy style beers. I go more for like malt. Uh, so who do you like in this area for like local? Uh, well, it's funny that you should mention that because um, there's two places that I had in mind that if you're, I know you guys like to partner and collaborate locally, right down the street from us in East Falls, like literally within 100 feet is Wissahickon Brewing Company. Oh, yeah. Which they do lots of partnerships. I've seen they've had guest taps and things like that. Uh, and they do kombuchas, things of that sort. So I know oh. that they are um curious about different types and styles so that might be something if that ever comes up for sure the other one is um carol what's the one in german attic attic brewing Who's that? attic attic brewing in german up? in germantown they're relatively new they just actually i think won an, a medal at the uh great american beer festival i think a silver for their uh a brown ale uh and, and you like it you've had their brown ale Oh, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, so I roll that way, but they also do really good pilsners and things like that. And, and uh, pilsners are, are, you know, for me, like I say, pilsners, uh, like I like towards the malty side of things, I'll do uh, wheat beers, things like that. So it's, you know, oh, I like all that stuff. Yeah. 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 I mean, I like if they can get a good hop beer that can mix with like a citrus or something mm. to balance out that, that sharp hop note. But um, you, I rarely find one that does it for me. Do you like Trogues out in Hershey? They have a lot of like loggers and pilsners. Yeah, and they're no, they're dangerous too. <laughs> yeah, I like those a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I, um, I might, one yeah, because uh, it wasn't a great year for Philly breweries in mm -hmm. uh, the Great American Beer Festival. So that's yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, and these guys, I think, have only been in business for well about a year, not wow. even. And, and they pivoted too. They had to do canning and all that sort of stuff. So they had to really amp up their game. 